moved here from China a couple of years ago. He loves everything to do with football, and he loves playing on his school's team. He also happens to have complete hearing loss in both ears. Looks like Kai needs some correction on his coverage technique. The coach could handle this situation in several different ways. He could yell a correction to Kai from the sidelines, but Kai would probably not be able to hear it and probably continue to make the same mistake. He could bring the team into a large huddle where Kai is not able to view his mouth. Let's see what happens. Hey, Kai, Kai, make sure you're on the inside. Right? Not the outside of him, but you're on the inside. Okay, so when he cuts, then you can undercut it. All right, and if he cuts in, you're already there. All right, there. We want to make him throw to the outside. Outside, okay. All right, to protect the inside. Is that inside? Inside and make the goal for the outside. That was a touchdown play right there, coach. Good job. There are numerous sensory disabilities to be aware of, and most are not visible. If you are unsure how to handle a situation or make an adaptation, the best thing to do is ask. Kids with disabilities make adaptations all the time, sometimes without even knowing it. They will most likely be your greatest resource and understand what will work best for them. Here's a list of other common sensory disabilities to be aware of. If an individual has difficulty speaking, do not assume he or she has an intellectual disability. Do not alter your own speech or attitude when speaking with this individual. Be sure to allow for sufficient time for the person to communicate with you. Do not attempt to finish his or her sentences or words. If you do not understand the individual, ask him or her to repeat himself. The person is most likely just as frustrated as you with the breakdown in communication. Be patient and give him or her time. An individual with vision loss may have a varying degree of sight and may or may not have an assistive device with them. Help the individual become familiar with the environment. Be very descriptive to help orient the person to his or her new surroundings. Be sure the environment is safe by removing any unnecessary cones, signs, or other obstacles. A student with hearing loss may require an interpreter. If not, be sure to provide a clear view of the mouth of the individual who is speaking so the person can read lips. Be sure to keep your hands or other objects away from your face and speak in a normal speed and tone. Regardless of the disability, if communication is difficult, consider writing or asking the individual to spell out what he or she is trying to say. For even more information on disability awareness, check out our website at nickpad.org or you can email us with any specific questions you have at email at nickpad.org. Thanks for watching.